Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the conversion from a JK flip-flop into D flip-flop. That means we are having JK flip-flop with us. We have a JK flip-flop. Sorry. We have a JK flip-flop. This JK flip-flop now needs to be converted into D flip-flop. So what are the additional logic circuitry we should provide that will decide the operation of the D flip-flop as a, a JK flip-flop as a D flip-flop. So we need some additional circuitry here to make it as a single input and these are the two outputs Q and Q bar. Okay, so what we need to do? We need to calculate, we need to calculate Uh, boolean expression we need to calculate boolean expression for j and k j and k in terms of in terms of d and q n q n present input so now how to identify the jk flip flop boolean expressions in terms of d and uh, past input qn that will be done by taking conversion table conversion table so conversion table is very important which is derived from the excitation table so here how to identify the elements in the conversion table one is external input which we are going to give for the flip flop to be acting as a different flip flop uh, external input so what is the external input now how the flip flop is going to be converted that will be converted into d flip flop so d, d we need to consider here see every student may have a doubt that what type of uh, table and how to consider this uh, table uh, when a flip flop to be converted into another flip flop so here jk is converted into d flip flop so first you draw this table first you draw this uh, diagram so jk flip-flop this jk flip-flop is to be converted into d flip-flop so d is the now original available input okay so we have to do some manipulation with the d and qn which is the past output to give the inputs for the j and k so we need to identify the boolean expressions for j and k in order to identify the boolean expressions for j and k we have to take j and k as the output terminals in the conversion table okay so external input must be here see which is the external input here d so external input and now present state present state which is nothing but qn next state qn plus one and now flip-flop inputs flip-flop inputs what are the flip-flop inputs now here flip-flop this is the flip-flop and it is having inputs like j and k so we have j and k here whatever the type of the conversions we are taking that we have to consider carefully okay so draw this table Okay, now external input and present input take these two as combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, next state is QN plus 1, which is derived from the truth table of this D flip flop. See here, we need two tables help for deriving this conversion table. One is the truth table of the D flip flop, another one is the excitation table of the JK flip flop. Without these two, you cannot draw the conversion table. Okay. For any conversion from one flip-flop to another flip-flop, you should know the root tables of all the flip-flops and as well as the excitation tables of the all the flip-flops. <coughs> okay, especially for this operation when you are going to use a JK flip-flop as a D flip-flop, then you have to know the root table of the D flip-flop and as well as you have to know the uh, excitation table of the JK flip-flop. Okay, so 0, 0 will give you 0, 0 means 
output is 0 means input is 0. Same whatever the output we have, the same will be the next state. Okay, whatever the input is there, the same will be the output. Sorry, 0, 0. Here also it is 0 because the output is equal to input for the D flip flop. So here it is 1, here it is 1. And now J, K. How the excitation table is identified when both are zeros? When QN is equal to 0, the next state QN plus 1 is equal to 0 when j is equal to 0 and k may be either 0 or 1. In both the cases, the output is 0 when the previous state is 0. And similarly, when present state when present state is 1, the next state will be 0 in two cases when k is equal to 1 and j may be either 0 or 1. So that uh, two combinations is taken as x. And 0, 1. 0 1 so present state is 0 next state is 1 this case will be identified in again two cases when j is equal to 1 and k is equal to either 0 or 1 so that's why we are taking x here and 1 1 when present state is 1 and next state is also 1 this case is obtained when k is a fixed value input 0 and j may be varied either 0 or one. That's why it is taken as X. <clears throat> this is the excitation table. This is derived from the excitation table of the JK flip flop. See, I will draw, I will write here, which is excitation table and which is uh, truth table. See, this is this is excitation table of excitation table of JK flip flop. And this is the truth table of truth table of D flip flop. Okay, so two different uh, circuit, two different tables are needed to derive the conversion table to obtain the conversion table. Okay, and now this is the excitation table of the JK flip flop. Now what we need to do, we need to obtain the Boolean expression for J and as well as the Boolean expression for K in terms of D and QN only, not QN plus 1. QN plus 1 is of no use in the derivation of the J and K Boolean expressions. So the Boolean expressions can be obtained by taking the K maps. Boolean expressions are obtained by taking k map for j and k okay so k map for j input so k map for j so k map for j is obtained which type of k map we need to consider four variable k map is sufficient because because only Four combinations are there. D is one input and QN is another input for this K map. So four combinations are sufficient. It is this is D and this is QN 0 1 0 1. So J is 0 X 1 X. J is 0 X 1 X. So 0 X 1 X. Map these two. Okay. So that's why J is equal to J is equal to D. J is nothing but D. Directly we can connect the external input to D to the J D to the J and now K map for K K map for the flip flop input K now uh, D Q N 0 1 0 1 so now it is k is having x1 x0 x1 x0 so these two map together and now k is equal to it is d bar d bar where j is d and k is d bar that means one input is directly connected and the other input k is connected with a not gate from the d input external input so the logic diagram is logic 
diagram or we can say conversion diagram or we can say conversion diagram that is more appropriate name conversion diagram so draw the jk flip flop j k q q bar and now take directly d external input d and this is clock of course clock is there for every flip flop and other input is the complement of the first input this is k okay this is the internal circuit diagram of the d flip flop d flip flop is derived from the jk flip flop by just connecting an inverter between j and k and taking one input as d okay this is the conversion diagram for the jk flip flop to a d flip flop thank you